Capricorn, 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 how you doing? So I bet to do this, uh, I have done it again. Dunn keeps coming up, the name Dunn, 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 probably Pucci, Stan, Jackie, Jackson, all this kind of stuff. Uh, I have done this five times and I've decided to delete the video and do it again as I was coming across as a raving lunatic. I will pretty much briefly go over some of what they were. I do still have that footage, but I find in order to keep my sanity, is to actually probably try and do it again. <laughs> um, but uh, you had so many messages that were coming up and your main message uh, is uh, hex. I'll put a hex on you, I'll put my X on you. Definitely X marks the spot, something around Capricorn. You had the names Abbey, Abigail, Downtown Abbey, Summer, that came up, Summer, 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 Summer. Summer Holiday or a Summer, the name Summer. Uh, Somerset, someone could be from Dorset or Somerset. Uh, the name D, Diane, Danny also came up. Danielle, Danny, uh, um, anyway, Dunn also. And the reason why I've turned this off is because you've got big uh, indicative with Virgo, hex, hexes, someone putting a hex on you, okay? Um, also exes and the name Dunn. Now, I'm just gonna briefly try and keep very calm to try and explain to you what this is so I don't have to record it again, Capricorn. I pretty much figured what this is is it's people feeling very uncomfortable around YouTube and very uncomfortable around their exes that could well be watching physical YouTube channels because I picked up on Ali, Alchemy, You, uh, Ali, B, the name B, Beyonce, uh, Virgo, uh, and I was just coming out with so many different things and uh, I started getting very angry about it and I thought, you know what, this is really not very professional. And uh, the main thing is, is what I feel, if, if I can explain it to you, <laughs> uh, is, is that people feel very uncomfortable that people are watching their YouTube. And these are exes that people have been indicative with in the past of, say, twin flame relationships or people that know of their channel that are making them feel very uncomfortable around YouTube or Instagram or uh, Facebook and people that are watching people put things online, right? and really trying to grasp and gain people's attention. And some of this, why I stopped it, were because the names that I know of in my life that are actually still relating to a lot of people's names on this channel, and that so many names are the same, that I didn't want to come across insane that these people might start to think that I'm actually talking about mentioning them. But you come up with Abby, Abigail, uh, Jack, Jackson, Jackie, Stern, Dunn, Pucci, a dog, Lenny, Leonard, um, and you, there were so many things, and the reason why I'm saying this is because you have big indicatives around Pisces, Virgo, right? But big Pisces, it relates so much, uh, also, um, uh, uh, what else was the message? Sorry, guys. Um, simple, Simon, simple Simon. Like, I don't know if this is children that are, um, that uh, people, uh, oh God, here I go again, man. It's not being able to speak. A Libra energy, big Libra energy here. And I feel such this dark energy of basically, sorry, here we go, of basically people stopping people from saying exactly what they want and exactly what they feel. And this is a bit like that I've had an ex, right? And I've had an ex connection and they're watching my channel and they make me feel very uncomfortable the fact that I can't speak or say what I want to do. And this is relating to people also like in the chat where this is not a live, it's a premiere. And then I chat with people during the chat here and then people say something and then they delete it after they've said a few things because they possibly think in their head or they know that the ex is watching or that someone might see the fact that they're uh, investigating into something and they leave a message and they think, well, if I leave that, my ex is going to see the fact that I've been commenting on a tarot when they might know that I'm watching tarot readings. And then they get very confused. They delete all that sort of stuff. Those messages are there. I'm getting crossed signals and crossed because the old girl, <laughs> the, the, the Kathy Bates syndrome over in Australia, her name keeps popping up all over the place in my head, which is Pucci and Stern. Okay, someone that's in Australia, a Capricorn reference that she has of a name, that is it, why she would be watching this. The narky comment that I had in the Pisces reading that was her more than likely. People in the shadows making people feel very uncomfortable, not wanting to shout out people's name and stuff like this, feeling restricted, 
not being able to do it because exes are possibly watching and people that are trying to force their way to stop the person from saying something, feeling confused, lost in confusion around Virgo, the Pucci, you're more than likely still watching all of this. You've got Virgo in your chart. You still probably don't even know what you've got in your chart. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. <laughs> right? So that's you that's got that. That's one of you that's watching this. I'm sorry, I'm hearing view to a kill. Also Roger, the name Roger and Roger Moore. Okay? I'm also hearing adultery. I'm hearing a sex offender. <laughs> See, this is where this is very strange. A sex offence, an offender, someone that takes things... Oh, God, that really is you, Pudgy, isn't it? God. <laughs> someone... Oh, man. Why can I not just speak and say my mind, man? Well, I can. <laughs> but this is the feeling, that people can't say what they really feel and what they want because they know someone else is watching it. And if I say their name or call out their name... It might be them or might not be. And there's like PTSD trauma all going around. Sorry, Capricorn. But uh, it's really interfering with my signals. The, the, the thing with you, Pudgy, it was all to do with sex and everything else, weren't it? And all that crap. That, that's, that's a big message for you. Someone that wants sex, has it, gets a connection, won't have sex, doesn't know about it. Oh, God knows what else. Blah, blah, blah. Don't want to mention. It's all personal. Stop watching the channel if it's winding you up or getting your people to watch it. I was also hearing like, and she wasn't even a Capricorn. <laughs> so whenever you're watching this, it's obviously because of the person that you're indignant with around your family. So what, you know, <laughs> but again, it's all of these messages that are so misconstrued of people wanting to be seen or like, I'm just going to see it and watch it. And it's winding me up to the death that this person's watching or I feel that they're watching or I don't know that they're watching. And that is also a message for you guys that you could be going through. Uh, people spying, people watching. I also, I've changed my top now, but mainly it was a very dark jumper. And the first message that you had come up was uh, black. And I thought, why black? What has this got to do with it? It had a lot to do with racism and stuff like this. And it had also to do with Jack Black and the pick of destiny and Jack, Jackie, Jackson. All those sort of things were coming out. Jack, Jackie, Jackson, there you go. <laughs> uh, Jacksonville, Somerville, Summer, Summer, Somerville. Uh, so the name Summer. A villa, also a villa, uh, Aston Villa, Aston, 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 something, Aston, Asto, Asti, Asti, Westy. Um, but uh, those messages were there. Uh, what else? Sorry, guys, because I've, I've, I've still got it, but I ain't gonna put it out because I was really like doing this again. And no matter how much I keep trying to get away from speaking the truth, it's a lot of you that don't want to like an ex is watching a channel, right, or something. And it is involving loads of different people. And it relates to the narky comment that I got on a Pisces reading that I really think it were her. <laughs> right? I was kind of like, Steve, you're not even a channeler. You don't even believe in a company. You don't even belong in the spiritual. Oh, my God, bro. I've went through this before. Grow up. Man, grow up. But, uh, again, it's more than likely her. Right, And these people that are behind the scenes that are making people feel very uncomfortable, the fact that they can't speak their mind or say what it is that they want. And some of these people could be like ex, like twin flames or like I've had a reading or I've had like a connection with someone and I'm really fearing the fact that they're watching my channel or I am doing it and I know that they're watching. And I'm doing it purposely to be seen, which is things like Facebook and things like this. And I know that this person's watching me and I'm going to put it out there publicly so this person can see it and that they can watch me and they can see everything. And all of these messages are so like up in my head of trying to break it down to give you what the overall conclusion of your messages are for December, uh, Capricorn. Um, that it really is a lot to do with that, of people really wanting to be noticed People really wanting to be seen and people really not wanting anything to do with it. <laughs> now, whether this is a connection or a love interest or control or PTSD and trauma, it's so confusing that I really think that some of it is being broke down to where some people have got like, say, a Facebook or YouTube channel or something like that. And they've had a connection in the past 
and these people are watching and they can feel these people around that have been very controlling in their life and they know that these people are watching it and it's driving them fucking crazy slightly that a lot of people perhaps don't even want to call these people out or say about it. And they're making these people that are the one have channel, channels or YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, say Facebook. Say if you're noticing someone that starts to close down their Facebook and they keep everything private and it winds a person up that they can't see what they've got or what they, they're doing. And it's either you guys or someone else doing it that's really making someone feel uncomfortable. Like, well, why have I just been blocked? Why can't I get on there? Why can't I get on? Well, there's probably people that relate to this channel that I've blocked that can't say their piece. No, 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 no. Listen, I've got something to tell you and I want to say it. And they can't because they're blocked, right? Now, this is either relating to YouTube and people's channels and they've blocked people off their comment section, which you can do, which I've done a lot of. It is relating to Pisces, and it can still relate to a psychic mirror that you guys are going through around a Pisces, right? And uh, it's someone that is either being seen, or wants to be seen, or wants to be noticed. And there's a lot of this, I want to be seen, it's me, it's me, it's me. Or like, you don't know it's me, and it is me, because I've changed my name, my icon, and everything else. And that physically is me, and I'm in the dark, and I'm leaving stuff on your channel of either one narky comments or I'm trying to and you don't know it's me but you kind of physically know that it is me but I'm really in the shadows knocking people off and you've kind of got this where people are like changing their icons and changing their like uh, their email address trying to get seen and trying to get onto someone's channel and trying to like leave a narky comment well if I 11 11 happened yesterday when I was kind of getting there with all of this stuff that's true in my eyes because I wouldn't have done this six times, done, again, done, 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 done. I wouldn't have done this six times around Capricorn energy and Gemini. I wouldn't have done this like six times and still come up with the same messages no matter how many times I try to get this to not do it, to come across as if like, well, if I say this, then a lot of Capricorns or people that are cross-watching may get very confused to whether their name means your name or it's loads of other people's name that have the same. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Sam. Saddam Hussein or Sane or Sane Insane. I'm picking up Sane. Uh, Sane Jane. Blaine Jane. Jane. Uh, Jonathan. Also John. John. And I'll pick up so much energy through your reading, Capricorn, <clears throat> to try and break it down to you. The person that I went over to see a long time ago that is so done, <laughs> that is surname done, but changed her icon, changed her name. You've got divorces and stuff here. You've got that person that's watching this over something that she's going through, hates it, doesn't like what I'm saying, getting very wound up, but I'm a medium and I'm picking it up. That's nothing to do with you guys, but because I am a channeler, it's in my head and I know that she's watching. That message tells me that that is also very present happening to you. And people have been passed from channel to channel to channel to channel. And it's also sent <laughs> it's also sent all of these people that are also still in the dark on people's channels. Because it is all to do with channeling, people's channels, Tara, I want to get noticed, I am noticed, I'm taking no notice, I don't want to know. Loads of different people. I'm not slating anyone, and I really try not to, but I have been contacted like eight or nine times by different people and of a girl giving a head to a beer bottle wanting me to notice her channel. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, what is wrong with people? What, you know. <laughs> so I swore I wasn't going to mention that. And I can now feel people getting very, like, annoyed the fact that I've perhaps done that. That I have spoke my piece and my mind. Because someone really here is like, well, I just want to give you a piece of my mind. And I just want to let you know and tell you that, no, 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 this isn't right. And that isn't right. And you shouldn't be doing this. And you shouldn't really be doing that. And, and I feel someone so demanding in the background that some people are really fearing. to think, well, what the hell is this person going to do next? What are they going to say next? Or what aren't they going to say next? And, uh, and I really pick up a very stern person. <laughs> that really is you, isn't it? <laughs> the person that says, Steve, you're not even a channel. You don't know what you're on. Oh, God. <laughs> Pisces. I really do pick up a lot of you around a big, big, big narcissistic energy of a Pisces that is around a lot of you. And it's driving you crazy. Or it's a Pisces and it's around them. And it's happening to them. And it's a psychic warfare mirror of everybody getting, huh? 
What's going on around all of this stuff? What's being said? What's not been said? Who am I lost in PTSD trauma and triggers? And it's just the main bit is, is that people are like, I don't know, like are the physically putting things online to get noticed by the person, but they're doing it and they're not saying the fact that I'm putting this on there so you can see me. Or I'm putting this on there because I really like putting on a show and I really want you to notice the fact that I'm doing all of this sort of stuff. You've got those energies that are probably going to get mixed up with others. Uh, with mothers. Oh, God, man. What are your, what are your messages relating to? <laughs> uh, you've got that. You've got people that don't want to be seen and really don't want anything to do with it. And they're the people that are doing things that have got these people watching, that are feeling very restricted of like, well, shit, now what do I do? <laughs> because now I've probably been involved with an ex, and they're watching, and I don't know if they physically are still watching or not, and that's making me feel very uncomfortable, the fact that I have to do my work. And these people are like narcs that are... Just, or, or it's just a feeling of that it's being like, I can't do what I want, I can't say what I want, I've got all these things in my head that I really want to say and can't. I've got all these things in my head that I really want the other people to see, but they're not taking any notice of me. And you've got such control, different amounts of narcissism and gaslighting of different people with the same sort of names and trying to get seen and trying to get heard that it's all going to get mixed up and everybody's going to say, well, that might be me. Five people, nine people have contacted me saying, I just need you to let you know that I am doing this, but it's not me that's doing... No, 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 man. The old getting things right out of... Out, blown out of proportion. Six and one, six and one. Two, sixteen, seven. So there's around seven energies. So, no. No, 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 no. You know, the only time that people should really be contacting me is if you want a tarot reading. That's it, you know. If you ever want to contact me, it's because you want to pay for my services. Please stop with all the, like, I want you to see me and I want you to watch me and I want you to do all of this with people giving head to beer bottles and shit and brother and, or whatever. You know, man, I, I just I, Why do you do that? Stop it. <laughs> stop doing that. It's, it's too much, right? So you've got people doing that and you've got people that are leaving bad comments or or so much spying energy it seems to be like i don't know like loads of people seem to be getting their fucking wires crossed <laughs> and people getting crossed by people's messages because they're probably cross watching and they get cross because they think well they're talking about me that really relates to me i'm now cross and well that's what happens when you cross watch that you get cross <laughs> right that's why you're cross watching you're getting your wires crossed you're getting too much of this info that's crossed you're like well sure i'm crossed now because that related to me and that was good but now i've rewatched this one and this one's bad and now i've cross watched that and now i've like completely lost my mind and don't know what's this isn't to everybody but i keep picking up the people that are like really getting their wires crossed here <laughs> or like someone's wearing a tin foil hat and is like completely and utterly raving lunatic and i i i don't know i i can't be asked to work it out and yet again, I have pretty much now had to try and give you a sane kind of message that really seems to be coming back to the same, <laughs> the same conclusion, which is I am physically nowhere than what I was before. I feel stuck. Pisces. I feel like I, I can't speak my mind, that my hands are tied behind my back, that I can't say my piece. And that would also be her as well. I can't let everybody know what, oh, <laughs> you know, and uh, like, well, I just need to say my piece. And you've kind of got that, my piece of Pisces. I just, that's the boom is everywhere. Like, I'm everywhere. <laughs> like, uh, oh man. And I really do. I feel that people on the other side of all of this feel that they're so restrictive that they want to, they want to do certain things, but some people are making them feel so uncomfortable that they can't do it, that some people are backing down and thinking, well, shit, and now I, it's my channel or it's my YouTube or it's my Facebook and I can't put on there physically what I want because this other person might be seeing it. And like, say if you've got a public, uh, say a Facebook page, right? Uh, and you, you want to put things out publicly because it's a business. But you know if you put it out publicly that there might be someone in the shadows and in the dark that might get to see what it is that you're doing. And uh, people are trying to hide relationships 
or hide it from sons or daughters and not want them to see. But the person individual wants to put it on something, but they don't want it because they don't want a mother or a father to see it. Or they don't want the ex to be able to find them. And they're trying to cover it up by thinking, well, I can't put things out publicly because I actually want to, I have to put it private. And it's stopping me from having a personal private life because other people are in my shit and in my business and in my ship. So they're all in my relationship and all my relatives know and all my parents might know. And I can't do what I want or say what I want because I may have made a choice to get at one point this person onto my channel and now they are. I can't say what I want to say because when I do, this person's going to hear what I'm saying. And I don't want to have to be able to do that. And I feel that you're so Capricorn that at this energy of like these dark energies around you of confusion of people that have, that have now made choices in life around Libra, but like made choices in life. And uh, that was my choice and I made that. But now I'm trying to undo what I did around done, the name done, the name done, the name done, 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 done. <laughs> there you are in the dark. But like, uh, sorry if your name is also done. It was just a bad experience of mine of someone that is floating around this channel. Right. Very much so. Right. So, <laughs> but like I've made a decision and that was what I wanted to do. And now I've come up to the conclusion of like, shit, I've made a big mistake. And now I've got those people involved into this. Now what do I do about the ex that might be watching? That kind of energy, do you know what I mean? Like I made a decision and now I've made it and I've stuck by it. And now I'm kind of like regretting my actions. And now what do I do around Jack, Jackie, Jackson, there you go. Jacksonville, Summer, Summerville, children, people. Well, that's karma. <laughs> that's karma. That's, <clears throat> that's choices what people have made. And they've also now thinking, well, how do I undo this? Now, how can I not let this bother me? The fact that I've done all of this. And how can I now not let this bother me? The fact that this person may or may not know. I mean, it's probably also like now I'm seeing my ex because I had that. Uh, I'm going to put a hex on you and I'm going to put a spell on you and it's around Scorpio energy and I, I've figured this out for you. <laughs> like I've got this thing that I've got going on and I don't now want my family to realise that I'm actually now seeing or talking to my ex. And because I am talking to my ex or my ex is involved in this somehow, I can't put things out publicly because my sons and daughters are also part of that and they might see well, the fact of me being me, the true me. So if I want to be true and honest to myself, what I find myself in is now a bind of, well, either one, a spell or Pisces. I'm like, my hands are now tied behind my back and I am now completely and utterly stuck to think, well, how do I be original and how do I be myself without these people of my family or my ex or my like my family knowing that my ex is now involved in my life and I made that decision not to have them in it but if I put this out publicly my family is now going to see the fact that I'm doing this or they're going to get a whiff of me actually still being or finding out about my ex <laughs> and everybody's in like this well, I'm, I'm like it's stuck between a two and an eight. I, like, I don't know. I don't know what's like what to do about it, because it's like, well, I've made these decisions and I've done it. But now done, 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 drama, karma. There you go. And what do I do about all of this stuff? Now, I can't let my son see the fact that I'm now doing something that he won't approve of or my mum won't approve of or my ex won't approve of. Or this person won't give me an approval when I really want their approval. And I really want to go ahead, but I really want their approval. And I'm going to keep doing it until they give me their approval and their go ahead. <laughs> and it's kind of like, why do people need a go ahead and a boost from someone else? I don't know why I'm picking up a, bo a boost. A boost. I need a boost from someone else. A boot. A boot. A boot. A boot this house. <laughs> someone from Scotland. But uh, something about this house. I don't know. I'm going to give up with all of that. But I really do feel like that there's so many people wanting to be seen. There's so many people wanting to be heard. You've got exes and all of those mysteries that I came out with. Summer, Somerville, Jackie, Jackson, Jacksonville, uh, Putchy, Stern, Jack, Jackson. Uh, oh, anything else? Um, 
Simon also came out. Simon, Simon, Simon this. Simon says, like Simon says, jump on one leg. Oh, okay. Jump on one foot. Okay, I'm going to get you to do all of this stuff. And someone's like, oh, okay. I know this person's watching and I'm going to put all of this stuff out there because I know that they're watching me. <laughs> do you know this kind of thing? Like I'm controlled on the other side of the camera. I'm controlled, say, say doing it or Cameron. I'm controlled by the other side of this person. <laughs> I mean, I went through this through my first situation. I'm going to put all of these things on camera to improve, like to, to uh, prove it to someone, to show them exactly what I can do spiritually and magically and what I can appear up and say and do. And I'm going to put it on there because I know that this person's watching and I'm going to put it all on there so my twin flame sees. Out, out. <laughs> so my twin flame can see or the person that I'm really trying to impress. And I'm going to put it on there and in my head I've got all of this thing because I know that this person's going to be watching me do all of that sort of stuff and I'm doing it for them. Right? You're really in the thick of the karma if you're doing that. You really are. You really are. Because you need seeking approval. It's, it's more of a, a codependent energy of others instead of yourself. Right? So you go through these stages of your karma. You know. So you, some people have got these things where it's like Facebook and stuff. I know this person's watching me and the only reason I'm doing all of this is for my twin flame. <laughs> and I'm doing all of this because I know that this person's going to be watching me when I do it. Now that's either one, making someone feel very uncomfortable or not to the person that's doing that that wants the person to be seen. Because they're kind of like, well, I'm doing this because I want you to see me. And the people on the other end are kind of like, bruv, no, 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 I don't want to see that. <laughs> right? Or you've kind of got this, uh, like, when I put these out, it's making me so uncomfortable, I feel restricted to the fact that I can't do it or say it. You've got so many. Ah. Move on, Steve. Yvonne. Siobhan. V. The name V. I don't know. <laughs> uh, January. Hey, Dan. Thank you again. I have watched V. Oh, I haven't. I want to watch V. Can everybody remember V? The TV show V? Uh, picking. Scabs. Abby. There you go. That was why that came up. Scab. Abby. Abigail. All this kind of thing. And then uh, January, you made me aware of the old television program that was called V, right? They used to peel their skin off and they used to be cypher, ciphering or Simon, but like uh, robots underneath the skin, right? <laughs> I'm sure it was. But uh, yeah. Anyway, let's see. So what's been going in the past, on in the past with Capricorn, please? Show me Capricorn's energy from the past. So all upside down. Well, it's all upside Virgo energy. I'm lost. How do I get you to see me? Because you've left me out in the dark. <laughs> Again, Pudgy, if you're still watching, bruv, you've got Virgo in your chart. You never did know what time you were born. You've got Virgo in your chart, big time. <laughs> <laughs> and it might be you putting hexes on people because Virgo came up with spell work, spell like, <laughs> there's so many people I know that kind of do this, it's unreal. Witchcraft, crafty energy, witchcraft as well for a lot of you. I don't believe in it, I don't really do it, but it was very much prominent in the Virgo reading. I'm going to put a hex on you, I'm going to put my X on you. But generally, I am lost without you, what do I do? Now, I'm lost without your energy. How do I cope without it? How do I cope with not being able to do this anymore? I want something very loyal in my life. Laura, the name Laura. But how do I physically find my way out of the whole scenario of getting my way out of this without being able to say it? Well, speak your truth. <laughs> speak Well, I want to, but I feel pushed out and locked out by the fact that I can't. That I have to do it in the dark. This is the darkness. This is gaslighting as well, because it's a nine, right? It could be PTSD and traumatized by experiences of like, well, I'm I'm doing this all in the shadows, but I don't want to be seen. I feel I, I feel intimidated, like around like how is it that I want to be seen, but I don't want other people to see me. I want to do it in disclosure and I don't want people to know about all these, these pieces of information. And that it's private and that it's personal. And I don't want you to know, but I want to be seen and I want all this to be heard of. But it's, it's, it's such also dark energy. Show me. 
show me from the past of what's been going on with Capricorn. <sighs> the bird of prey is what I'm picking up. The praying mantis. Someone's preying on someone, right? But again, the three of pentacles. Pisces energy, definitely. A Pisces Virgo. To me, this is someone that is a Pisces Virgo as well, right? Pisces Virgo. Caught between a rock and a hard place of now I really want to be seen, but now I've been left out of the whole lot. And how do I get back into this? This is also the person of Pisces. You don't even belong in the spiritual community. I mean, what's a spiritual community? Jesus Christ. Unless you're satanic. <laughs> but like, uh, you know, well, I don't feel a part of it, is what I'm picking up. I don't feel a part. I fell apart. Don't get it all, don't get your wires crossed, everybody. It's a personal, it's a personal attack <laughs> of someone that won't stop watching this crap. <laughs> Jack, crap. Crack, crack. Oh, there was also Jack Black, crack, cocaine, drug addiction. <laughs> when it was all here, it was crack, crack, like drug addiction. Like, you see it through the Virgo where it's going, yeah, it's the coronavirus. And we're just down in like in our shops and everybody's like, have you had your shot yet? And I said, like, yeah, no, I feel great. It's, it's really, really working. <laughs> anyway, that message turned into someone that was detoxing here. This detoxing. Let's go through the DTs, DNT, GNT, the GTs. Got it's dragging terror girl. There you go. You're right. <laughs> but like uh, uh, doing the, I don't know, doing the Ds. DD, BB, B. Doing the Ds, doing the Bs, doing the Danielle, doing the Dan. <clears throat> I don't know. D and, uh, like uh, doing the detox. Detoxing is like someone that's going cold turkey. Someone that is going cold turkey, bro, and I don't mean eating it for Christmas. I mean goose flesh. Someone that's been taking heroin, maybe. <clears throat> Someone's going through detox. Cold and warm, hot and cold. Hot and cold. This came out yesterday. X marks the spot. Double X. Malcolm X. <coughs> Two lots. <coughs> I'm going to put a hex on you. I'm going to put my X on you. <laughs> I'm going to put my other person onto you. I'm going to set them about you. I'm going to set about you and tell you exactly what I think. There is a plot of land here going under foreclosure around people discussing around a actual... Uh, move and an extension on their pay grade or an extension on their um, on their house here like a physical move like we're now gone into foreclosure and we have to now build an extension on the house so we have to make the house better or bigger like the house has to be bigger this can be grandparents or like a granny annex I'm picking this up as a granny annex in the background here and someone's like, either lives in a granny annex here or they want to renovate, they want to renovate the house and the home, but they live on the side of a house. And because, or the name is Simon, right? And they live on the side of their house as like a granny annex or an extension of it. And they want to, they live in that bit. This, this really, man, that really is you, Pudgy. <laughs> like lives on the side of the house or does things on the side of the house that uh, is uh, excluded away from the son, mother or father or grandfather. And I either want to put something on the side of the house so I can do that, so I don't have to live in the same area as you. Even though we can't physically move, I want a part of this land so I can build a house or an extension on it, so I don't have to live with you. <laughs> right? You've got that here as well. So you've got uh, three and one is four. So you've got that around Scorpio energy of things need to change in my life around a house and a home and a job. And I, I might be forced now to realize that because I may not have any work, that the plans now is where the snow's just falling everywhere. And the fact that there's nothing that's happening around the, the, the actual plot of land that we're doing because the weather's turned different, that uh, we might not be able to build yet or I've lost work and I don't know if I can continue on with the building renovations or the plans or everything has come to a complete stop and halt. And I might now feel like that I might have to stop doing that for a while or stop it completely. Or the fact that I want to move out completely 
But uh, if it's about renovating a house or a home, that I might need to build an extension on the side of it so I can get out of the way from the person that I really don't want to live with, but it's a way of coexisting. So I can do things privately so you ain't going to know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is. It really is. <clears throat> it is. Because three and one is four, so it's to do with twin flames, psychic twin flame mirrors, all of the channel messages that I give you for a start is what I really feel like is spot on, but it might not be, but I think it is. And uh, the three and the one is four, so that's representing that. Four is also a milestone in life of things that, a conclusion that you come to of where things feel as if they're stopped and that it's all come to a conclusion of like, well, everything's just come to a standstill and a stop and like, what do we do now? So my milestone now is telling me that it's also to do with a, a job that has now come to a standstill or like a, uh, a house move and that all of a sudden has come to a stop and the plans for the future of building and renovating, that's all come to a standstill and that's come to a stop and spiritually karma is kind of like, uh -uh, it's not time yet, you, there's other things to do basically, around five, right? So um, I really feel like this is a huge milestone of where everything just seems to have come to a, like a complete halt for everybody to really, I think your message was that for the month, right? Where I said, really consider your next move, right? Before you go and do it, really consider about your next move. Well, there that is right now in a different card deck here. Really consider your next move before you go ahead and make this decision of a plan to build on an extension. Now, or, or your next venture. But again, these can be people that know a Capricorn that are cross-watching. Really consider your next move before you go and take that, before you go and do it. Before you really, if you're cross-watching and you're thinking, you know what, Steve, I am actually here thinking, should I really make that move? Should I really do this in my life? Should I do it for that person or not? If that's you and you're watching, really reconsider before you go and do that, right? Really reconsider before you do it. Because there's this energy here for you guys that is kind of like, well, someone's really trying to make me feel as if I'm uncomfortable that I need to make this move in life, but I really don't know if I can or if I should. And I don't know if that's really going to help me out or not. And I really don't know if that's going to, if I'm possible to help you here. So you've got... Um, You've got people, I mean, I really do feel, honestly, I really do feel like there's an uncomfortable uh, decision here to be made. And I think, like I said, a lot of it is to do with this physical extension on this pay grade or an extension of the house. Not really wanting to live with the person that you are, but you just want to be excluded from that person so you can do what you want and see who you want, you know. But I think that someone has got indicative with their past here and they're trying to hide what they're doing by talking to their ex. And they don't want people to know the fact that they are doing that, right? Is, is that they're excluding their family members and don't want them to know the fact that they are possibly talking to their ex-partner here. That's what I pick up. I really do. And that is the ex that marks the spot. That they've now got back with their ex and that they don't want people to know in their family that they are possibly talking with that person here. And they don't want their friends to know. They don't want their families to know. And this is a lot of that, you know, stop with all that, because it doesn't matter. People that write in the comments, in the, the chat section, where, the, the, where you can leave a donation and stuff like that, where you can uh, super chat in that bit, where you can uh, start writing messages, and then all of a sudden everybody just starts deleting certain messages because they don't want it to be seen. Well, why put it? It's because you're going through so much karma and confusion that you really feel that someone else might see the messages that you've put. As you wouldn't put it. You've got to make a decision and stay with it. Don't keep changing your mind here. You know, don't let your past and your karma deceive you by spiritually connection of losing your mind and feeling that all these people are actually winning because you're afraid to be who you want. And they're intimidating you to be able to say what you feel truly. And uh, it's just karma that you've done that you have to undo. Done, again, there you go. But uh, karma that you've done in the past that you have to undo, you have to make up for that energy, right? That's because you've got to pay it back. That's why you're paying it back all the time. That's why people that are doing this, they're realizing, well, I'm not getting anywhere in my life and I'm now like very confused what I have to do. And I hate upon this thing of here of me say, right, but my life is going out of control. Well, that's something that you've got to pay back. That's why you're out of control, <laughs> right? Because it's winding you up. You, narcissists and people that physically sit there hating upon people, 
they actually wind themselves up. They do that. They really, they really do. They wind themselves up. They actually physically help YouTube channels. <laughs> they really do because they add to the algorithm. That was where I come up with alchemy and all that sort of stuff. They add to the uh, the alley, alley cats and all that sort of stuff. They they add to the algorithm, right? Because they dislike things and they. But YouTube works off views of how many times it's being watched. How many times are you using YouTube? How many times are you on it? You're constantly helping out just by clicking on YouTube. So it doesn't matter whether you like things or dislike it. It's, I mean, a like is great. But it doesn't matter about these dark people that hit dislike or whether they actually uh, sit there because they're watching. They're adding content to by watching the, the uh, adverts or they're at least adding to the, the subscription rate, which will they will then not... Well, they, they either are or they're not. <laughs> but they keep watching it. So it adds to the time that they're doing it. So they're physically helping. My whole point is, is that these bad people in life, they actually physically help you more than what you know when you understand about letting go and release, right? Is when everything goes, you grab hold of it and think, no, I don't want to lose that. Like, I really want these people to see me or whatever. And I really don't want to lose that. And I'm fear letting go, right? So you're not really going to get much. You're not going to get anywhere. That's why you're stuck and confused. So your manifesting state starts from a magician, right? It starts from the ground up, right? So you have to do everything as self-employed. You have to do it all yourself, <laughs> right? So if you want to be seen and stuff like that, you have to do it yourself. You have to add content to yourself, right? Be loyal to oneself. So when you start off at a magician, if your mindset is like, yeah, I don't want to lose all of this stuff. I can't do or say what I want because it's really restricting me because I can't say it. I can't do what I want. I can't feel what I want. When your head is doing all of that, and you're not like, you know what? This is an actual blessing in disguise that this person isn't in my life anymore. It's an actual blessing that I don't have to think all of this crazy stuff in my life anymore is the fact that they're not in it. So I see that as a blessing. So I can't wait for my future. So you'll start manifesting and thinking up ideas of the future, right? So your head will then think, actually, a loss of the present self is actually a gift of the present that I am about to receive in the future. I don't know what that is. I don't want to scare it away. But at least I'll feel very good about my present self and my present tense of my future of what I don't know what's to come because it's a cornucopia of shitloads, right? So you can get anything. But when you understand about what is left in your life and when you can leave it and when you can like think, thank God all of this is no longer that I have to pile up with this pile of shit in life, when you don't have to do that, your energy is then because I can't wait for the future. I'm dreaming of my future to bring it into reality in the future. But whilst there's still a lot of this confusion around you of fear, you're, you're constantly going to stop manifesting success because you will fear things instead of actually feeling good about the future to bring it towards you. Because if anything is restricting you and blocking you of your speech, your taste, your touch, your smell, or your psychic ability of anything that holds you back, you will not be able to do that as well as what you can do because you're fearing letting go of a load of things or people to be known. So you can even get very controlling narcissistic people that watch this, that want to know how to do all of these kind of things or they want to know about success because that's why you would be watching it and realise why they can't. It's because they're... they're, they're <laughs> there you go. It's because they've got all this crap in their head that they're not wanting to hear all of these things and that they don't like the truth being said, that they have to knock everything off and then go on another one and get very confused and think, oh, <laughs> but that didn't really work. But I don't like the people that tell me the truth and that are straight up and honest. I actually want someone that's going to lead me more into the myth, right? So I'm going to hate that person, like that person, but that doesn't come true. Come back here, hate the person that's speaking the truth just so I can do all of this crap, and then wonder why I don't ever get anywhere because the karma keeps coming back to yourself because you're the karmic. <laughs> God knows. Anyway, it's it's a very confusing situation. <laughs> uh, it's only if you're very restricted of not being able to say or do what you want. If you are in this energy that you've got all these people watching you and they're making you feel very, very, very uncomfortable because say it's an ex or you know someone, that's what's stopping you from being honest, right? Because you've done something in your karma, done. You've done something in your karma, in your past, that you need to rectify, and because you're not rectifying your past, you're now still hiding it from them and yourself. That, that's what's keeping you very restricted and unable to move forward. Because you're hiding secrets about what you want in your life. You're hiding it from others. If you ever feel that you have to hide the truth or can't tell people in life, it's going to keep your head as like, shit, I really want to do or say this, but I can't do it because my ex might be watching. Or because this person might know the fact that it's me. So these people that are in this energy are going to find it very difficult to be able to do much 
because they're living more in fear than they are in reality. Ali. <laughs> I don't know. Alison. <coughs> Anna Annalise. Uh, the Hermit. The Hermit. Why has the Hermit been here, please? The Hermit. Golden opportunity. I'm going to grab it with golden brown. Text you like sun. So I'm going to grab this with both opportunities, Steve, and I am going to try my hardest to get into this person's, to get a new job. What's the uh, Ace of Pentacles for? Ace of Pentacles, Aries, everything is up in the air. If I have to stand up and say something, you do know I'm an Aries in Jupiter, right? <laughs> if I have to stand up and say something, I will. That same energy here is lost, right? There is, provocal, yeah, sorry, but there's witchcraft here. There is, there is something of witchcraft here, right? <clears throat> um, but let's see, what is this Emperor for? But that is also the Jack, Jackson, Jackie, hi, how you doing? Um, that's those energies here as well. But uh, if you're really relating to Virgo energies and it's to do with witchcraft, then there's that. <laughs> right? um, the Emperor. Two of Cups. So the mirror effect. The X. The metaphysical connection that seems to be driving someone crazy that they want to be seen by the metaphysical connection. I have a connection with you so strong. Right? So I want you to see me. For who I am, I want you to see what I can do, <laughs> right? All of this magical, I'm picking up magic. I want you to see all of this magical stuff that I can do. So I want you to see me for who I really am. If you, if you have to do that and you really need someone else to see you for who you are, trust me, it gives off a codependent energy of your karma. And I'm being honest with you, right? Because this can be someone that really wants to be seen here and is left out in the dark and wants their twin flame soulmate, two of cups, to see them, right, here. They really want that energy to happen. And they're doing all of this to get that person to see everything that they can do, right? That's not a, a, an independent person that does it for the love of themselves, right, here. Not in my book. In yours, maybe. Um, three, of, uh, three of wands. Three of wands. King of cups. So you're in love with this person, whoever it is. It doesn't matter. You're very much in love with them. That's Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But that is, uh, look, I really want you to take me. <laughs> I want you to accept this. I want you to accept me for who I am, right? Because I'm trying to offer you this cup, but you really don't look as if you're interested in it. But I really want to get your, your, you interested on me. I want you to turn around and look at this cup. I want you to look at me. I want you to see me. I want you to see me for who I am, truly. It might not even be the fact that you love the person, but you're trying to get the energy here focused of a king, right? Of a king, right? So it's around a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I really want you to get me. This person's handing someone a cup that isn't even, they can't even see it. This person can't even see the fact that this person has an opportunity that's there. So it kind of means you don't even know that I'm there. <laughs> you don't even know that I'm there, right? You don't even know that I'm there right behind you. You don't know that I'm there in the background right behind you, right? Sorry for the dog. Uh, King of Cups. King of Cups. Again, begging for attention. This person gets so much attention that people beg them for it. This is begging them for attention. This is not a great energy. Well, it might, it might be. It depends on you're begging for attention. But everybody here is, you're not worthy, you're not worthy, you're not worthy. <laughs> so if this is like someone that gives off an energy of a non-committal energy, that they don't want a commitment, but they just love people's attention, that's these people here begging this person to open up, to give them something. I'm begging you to give me an opportunity. I'm begging you to let me in your life. I'm begging me to let you in my cycle. <laughs> what? I'm begging you to let me in your cycle, in your circle. Perfect circle. <laughs> there you go. So there's Tool. Well, the band, Perfect Circle. Do you like per per Perfect Circle? Um, but again, I'm begging you here. That's what that is. Because that's also blame and shame and blocking people out and not taking any notice of anybody that wastes your time to block them out to concentrate on oneself here. That's why it can be seen through energies of a selfish person. 
can be a masculine energy that doesn't pay attention to others. They just pay attention to themselves. And it can be very difficult to get your attention by this person. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But as a relationship, this person can be so blocked off that all they're concerned about is themselves. But, I mean, if they're denying a lot of energies, ten of, uh, ten of wands here. But you've got an opportunity that arisen there, possibly around this, um, someone sending you a picture of themselves. Ace of Wands, what is that opportunity? Star. Well, see, you're, you're, well sorry. This is your past. <laughs> this is your past. And Aquarius is there for a lot of you to help you with your dreams, to help you build it. Build it, they will come. It is my dream and my wish to have this Ten of Wands to be able to move and to be able to be independent and to be on my own and to be away from this energy. This person could be away from you. as two sorts of energies here. Because this person has got a desire to be on their own and to, uh, well, either want to live with someone or live without them. Ten of uh, Swords. Same card as yesterday. The Queen of Swords. There you go. There's the Empress. <laughs> My shit don't stink. I'm sorry, but there you go. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> there's the piece on the side for a lot here but uh, the queen of swords the empress is someone that loves here <laughs> that loves to be watched or is watched or is by or is admired I'm hearing is admired by others admire Myra the name Myra but admired by others is admired by others but then you get the queen of swords this is pe this is someone that will not accept things right will not accept it so if you're, like I said, your Capricorn's watching and you're really trying to get someone's attention, because this could either be an attention seeker or someone that gets a load of attention or gives it, right? Because it's not always equality. So they either get a load of attention, but they don't never give it back. Or you want your attention of this person, but they don't give you it, right? Because the Queen is a no card. That is like, pff, you ain't coming anywhere near me, <laughs> right? So... As an ending there of this person either getting a load of attention and it not being distributed evenly between others, or it is someone that gets a hell of a lot of attention, but they won't commit because they block things out. They 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 don't pay any attention. They don't pay any attention to control and things like that here. But Stern, there you are, that's you, right there. Let's have another look, see what this Queen of Swords is. What's this Queen of Swords for? Sagittarius energy. It's really not telling me a real lot. Sagittarius, Pisces, Sagittarius, Pisces. What's the temperance for? Brand new, a child, someone that has a child here. Or has a person already, as an idea. <clears throat> You've got different flavours of different people here. Because Sagittarius energy can like to be seen, right? Likes to stand out in the crowd, likes to take centre stage, very much so, loves to take centre stage, right? They, they're teachers also, and they like to be seen. They like to take lead of the crowd, right? If there's a crowd of people, they love to take centre stage. They like people to look at them. My sister is a Sagittarius all day long. Give her a dance floor, bruv. She will be in the middle centre stage with no one else dancing, giving it all that bruv, like giving it everything, right? That will be my sister all day long, give her one glass of wine and she'll be all over the place slaughtered. And she will be on that dance floor taking centre stage. That is, a cent that is a Sagittarius, right? And what I'm picking up is that this person takes centre stage and wants attention here, very much wants attention here. But they're contemplating on who to let in their life and who not to here. Who, who to let in and who not to. And in a relationship, if you're really trying to get in to this person, well, they'll make a decision through the Queen of Swords here. But on a bad side, if this person... <laughs> who knows? Anyway, you've kind of got that there, right? You've got very confused mixed energy. So what we're going to do is have a different card deck and actually look into your month reading for December, okay? This, this this person here might be a mum here, is a mother, right? And they, they don't take things lightly. 
right? They don't take things lightly. Lee, I'm hearing, hearing Lee also, but they don't think they don't take things lightly. Meaning that you're going to have to approach this empress in order to ask her here, and it'll be down to her whether she accepts that or not, whether she wants it or not. Because this person here could be a mother, and that she just doesn't take things lightly. Of like, well, I'm just going to make a decision very quick and just do that. There are people here that are being blocked out here. But again, this energy can be of someone that has this, I want loads of attention and I'm doing it because I know that you're watching and I'm trying to not pay any attention to that to block it out. But I know the fact that you are watching here, this Empress. I know that you're all watching and I know that you're doing it. But the Four of Pentacles could be trying to block something out and take no notice of it. But even though I know these people are watching. And I don't know how that is perceived of you being Capricorn, because I'm not a Capricorn, <laughs> right? I don't know how that's being perceived by you guys of trying to get in or out of, the, of, of this person's life altogether, because you do have blocked energy, and you do have someone that gives, like, begs for someone's attention to, to look at them, to see them here, right? And because they do, this person will decide whether they want to or not, and it will be down to them whether they do. And I'm trying not to uh, represent this anybody else that might be thinking I'm talking about them. <laughs> I'm actually talking about that that bad person that I was indignant with. Man, that was that all over. That was that over. Very, 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 very non-committal. And I mean very blocked and very non-committal. And would call loads of soulmate people in and would be watching that much tarot to call in when's my next soulmate that every time they arrived was to tell them to piss off and block them out and go absolutely nuts and was so blocked and was so codependent that would never take a relationship even though I'm wanting it and would give off such a vibe of that everybody's got to look at me. Everybody wants me. God, when I was there, there was four people. Well, I've got my ex. I've got my ex person here. I've got another person that I really like that wants me. And I've got another person also that really wants me and another person that really wants me too. <laughs> um, but wouldn't commit to any of them and had someone that flew all the way over to Australia and spent God knows how much to for that to go completely and utterly ballistic after the first few hours. It was it was awful. It was awful. Right. That person calls people in, would would absolutely broke down emotionally because I said I wasn't gonna go. And went got me to go. And after a landing there, started talking to her ex the day before I went, started talking to her ex. The day before I went, after crying and everything, and me spending all that money, and I went, pretty much got me to go, whatever, to fucking be like this and have four or five other people on the go at once, but wouldn't commit to any of those either. And whether that was in her head or not, I've got no idea. But did all that, and then just abandoned me in the middle of nowhere in Australia with no hope of knowing where the hell I was in life. Had no idea. Was very scared and very worried. Didn't know. Didn't give a shit. Basically just kicked me out of the car, dropped me off on the side of the road, and then just left me there to fend for myself after promising that she wouldn't do something like that. Because I said, if I come, you, you've got to realise that I've never been to anywhere like that before in my life. You know, bruv. Raven lunatic. There. Non-committal. Right? Sorry for such strong messages. But that is the truth. And that is her. There. It is. Very stern. <laughs> There you go. Um, let's see. Tries their best to have people in their life, but also at the same time tries to keep people out of it. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Capricorn, what have they got coming up for um, December? Sorry, Cappies. I love all you guys, but bro, I can half figure most of this out. And I'm sick to death of not being able to speak my mind. You're the lovers here. You've, you've got Gemini energy here. Someone that cares for you a lot. Someone that does love for you. But you do still have a lot of duality. A lot of duality. Okay. Oh, bruv, no wonder. <laughs> this is someone that, you're, that you live with here that makes you feel very uncomfortable. Okay. This is someone that you try to avoid and go around because you know when you get in a conversation with this person, they're going to enclose you into that and you're going to get trapped into that. Right. So you try to avoid to not get into a conversation with this person that's going to, oh, I just want you a minute. And you're like, oh, bruv, what? I said, no, just come here. I just want you to talk. 
and you're like, oh, ah, <laughs> no, you're making me feel very uncomfortable. Scorpio energy, Leo, Aquarius, right? But uh, it's making me feel very uncomfortable. It's private. I don't want to tell you about my life. I don't want to tell you what's going on in my love life. So please don't keep asking to make me feel uncomfortable that I can't say what I want. Yeah, but I want you to tell me. No, because I know that you put me into a bind to make me feel very uncomfortable when we start talking. We're not on the same wavelength. When we talk, we argue. You make me feel trapped that I can't talk to you, but I want to talk to you. But I can't and I want to and I can't and I shan't and I won't. And then, ah! So I avoid you. I avoid telling you this. Right? So if your messages are, well, I'm trapped in my head. I, I, I'm avoiding and I can't speak my mind and say anything on whatever. And I can't say all that. Well, bloody hell, Trevor. Stand up and start saying things. <laughs> right? Yeah. But uh, again, you've got that. Um, Capricorn. Yeah, judgment. So you're coming up against judgment. So you've got people watching you. These are people that public speak also, right? But your judgment is your own, right? So it's up to you if you want to keep doing this or not. Well, it isn't. It's your karma. So you haven't really got much choice. <laughs> but uh, you can get out of this. This is someone that could be going to prison as well. Someone that could be a new contract at work and literally trying to get out of this altogether. Like I'll put myself in a bind in order to get myself out of it. I have to rectify my karma here. So I'm going to have to speak my truth and I'm going to have to say exactly where I feel and what I want to release this burden and to release my karma. I have to physically undo all of that and to either say something or not. Right? Is it to either tell this person or not? Right? Is to speak your peace and say your mind here. Because you've got your past that comes back all the time. And this can be someone that is seen because it's your path is clear but you don't know, right? Because it's open, right? It's open. So You've kind of got like this, I feel in a bind because I feel this person is listening to every word I say, that this person is watching me. Because this is the biggest spying card you'll ever get. Because this is spirit, <laughs> right? So this is open, that you don't know. You don't know, you just feel the fact that this person is restricting you from doing exactly as you feel. And that whoever that is that you have the most amount of conflict with, there's your message. It's that around that person. It's the person from the past that you don't know if they're physically there or not. You just feel that they are. And you feel restricted that you can't do or say what you want because you know that they're going to put you into a bind if you say it. That they might come back into your life to blame you somehow, to make you feel very awkward. That you can't go where you want. You can't walk out the door if you want, if, even if it's there. I, I don't even feel like I'm safe walking out the door without this person trying to get me into conversation to find out where I'm going. If I want to leave the house... And I want to get out without being seen by this person and trapping me into a conversation. How do I avoid and get around them without talking to them? Yeah. Without telling them that I'm doing something online. That I'm also putting things on Facebook. That I'm a public speaker or a motivator, whatever. <laughs> but again, how do, I, how do I get around this circumstance? By getting everyone to look at me or not look at me here. But again, general, your person comes back into your life. If they don't, that's just that energy. That's that message. If your person doesn't come back into your life to do this again, then that's because I want to be seen by this person, even though I don't. Like, they, they may be watching me, I may sense them, and I may feel them, I may have a metaphysical connection, but I still feel trapped and bind by my karma of something that I did in the past that I have to now rectify, right? Is that it's only down to me to get myself out of this bind that I have found myself in. And I can either believe it, not be bothered about it, or force my way out of it by speaking my truth. Here. Right. Facts, not fiction. Facts. Right. For December. December, new start, there you go. Fresh new start. Poppy Kosh, don't need any of that. Brand new person, brand new start, get away from it all. Holiday, new experience, milestone in life, hit, accomplished. Everything starts to become more easier. This person with you, though, if your ex comes back with you or you go back with your ex, somebody here wants a brand new start and that's either with or without that person. So there's a chance that the fool can just waltz straight back into the past, right? Is to reconcile, is to talk about a brand new start. Whether that's going to work out or not, I don't know. But the fool is like someone that can just foolishly not see where they're going and bump straight back into their ex or bump straight into someone in the street and go, oh my God, man, I haven't seen you in like years. It's like, no, because I was doing a drive-by around your area and I just so happened to bump into you. I meant to be doing that, but you didn't know. 
<laughs> you can have that instant as well, right? It's like, oh my God, I've just bumped into you and I haven't seen you in years. Now, one of these people might not even know that the other one is physically put themselves in that vicinity in order to be seen. <laughs> what do you know? All right, oh, hello, how are you getting on? Do you want to go back in a relationship? <laughs> All that kind of stuff, right? But you can just bump into one of these people and you might think, oh, where's my twin flame? Where's my twin flame? Where's my twin flame? And you bump into an old friend and you've missed that message altogether. In fact, the fact that this could be anybody from your past that could also be past, present or future. It could even be a new person, right? But it's more than likely someone from your past, of your soul groups, that you knew before that comes back into your life here to start something. Right? Here. Right, so that is your reading so far, Capricorn. Thanks very much, guys. Sorry for the sporadic messages. Uh, so what we do now is we we'll go over to Tier 1 and also the full access bundle. Uh, the same reading goes to both places. But if you can just stay with me a second, I will explain what comes up over on the full access bundle. This one... It's just, these are cleared away, we focus on your full reading and clarify all of the cards, pretty much, right? When you go on, if you're on the Secret 7 bundle, on the full access, what we do now is, then, for those readings, it doesn't come out anywhere else, it just goes there, we do a full spread for you guys for those two weeks, and then we clear those cards away after being clarified, and then we look into a reading from your partner. So what's going on in your partner's mind, their partner's life, thoughts and feelings, and we try and work out what's going on in the, like your reading, their reading, right? And then you can watch, say, something Rising Venus and Jupiter maybe, and then see what it is the, the most amount of messages that you want to know. But that is something that is added over there if you do want to join, okay? But that is only on the Secret 7 bundle. And then you also get your, um, you also get your Life Path extended readings when they come out throughout the month. The extendeds only go over to there. Uh, and thanks very much. I hope you have a great Christmas. I will be back doing different things throughout the month. Uh, I do appreciate all your support, all your likes, comments, shares, all that sort of stuff, Capricorn. I really do appreciate it. Anything that you need below is, is there for a private reading. Anything like that is also all found in the show more section. Thanks very much, Capricorn, and I'll see you soon.